So just a quick one, like why why not that? Um, if you look at let's say um, loans in general um, in the US, you know there are all sorts of different kinds of loans, and you know just for example, a good example is look look at Apple, right? There's only one type of Apple stock, but you know okay, maybe not Apple, but let's say General Motors, like GM or GE. You're gonna have one type of stock, but you're gonna have probably 300 different types of bonds that you've issued over the entire course of, um, you know, the company being in existence with, you know, different requirements. Like some are going to pay a 5% coupon, some are more senior, some are not, etc. Um, and this is this is one of the underlying difficulties. And one of the things about bonds, that if you're an investment grade company, that's kind of fine. You don't have that much credit risk. But the difference between a bond investor and an equity investor, here's the thing, right? Um, equity investor wants returns. So they're kind of fine, except that you have to take a lot of risk and, Potentially, if you don't get your capital back, that's kind of accepted. But for a bond investor, you want your money back. And here comes in a very important uh, concept of collateral, which means that if you're a sub-investment grade and you want to borrow money, then I'm going to have to take collateral. Um, and what a lot of um, asset managers and you know what they kind of do on a daily basis is just when you transfer um, these sort of loan agreements or these sort of high yield debt agreements, you're basically checking to say, okay, this is collateralized by how much? And you're actually checking to say, do they actually own this collateral? And you actually have to check all of these things and that's kind of, um, you know, the, the main reason why, um, you know, in general, sort of that is, is more complicated. Um, and it's, it's a bit harder to kind of make it like uniform um, as compared to, to equity. Yeah. Sorry, I uh, the gentleman's first question about, um, you know, why would somebody want to choose in an STO versus a regular uh, stock offering or an IPO? What is the benefit? Imagine the collateralization of these tokens or of these STOs become... Um, advanced and complicated in the sense that you can have automatic uh, exits or automatic uh, distributions across the whole galaxy of a variety of different asset classes. So you can really start building some amazing things within this space, whereas typically you would have to, um, if you wanted to, for, for example, execute on a convertible bond, uh, it would be a tedious process with a, um, with a substantial uh, legal apparatus.